Hey guys, this is your Trusted Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about a pretty significant severe weather event that could unfold across the Great Lakes area tomorrow night. Before we go into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe, about 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather related content, and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the Storm Prediction Center's Day 2 Severe Outlook. They have a level 3 of 5 enhanced risk going from the Minneapolis metro area into the Milwaukee metro area. That swath of about 4.2 million people are in. Cities included are Milwaukee, Madison, Waukesha, Oshkosh, and Eau Claire in that level 3 of 5 enhanced risk, where a derecho may unfold across this entire region. There's a 5% tornado risk in northwestern into central Wisconsin and just north of Minneapolis, where storms may initially form as supercells before congealing into a line. Cities included are Eau Claire, La Crosse, Andover, Stevens Point, and White Bear Lake in that 5% region. Those in the 2% region have only a low end chance for a tornado. Wind is the main threat. There is a, the enhanced risk is for the wind, and there is a hatched region as well where there is a possibility of over 75 mile per hour wind gusts across this whole region, but the best chance is in that black hatched region, which includes cities as Eau Claire, Blaine, La Crosse, Andover, Oakdale. And there's also a hail risk too, particularly in Minnesota and northwest Wisconsin where there is a hatched risk where again, storms may initially form as supercells before forming into a line that could bring very large hail greater than two inches in diameter. Let's get right into the models. Models show very relatively different scenarios that occur. This is going to be during the early evening hours around 7 p.m. according to the HRRR model, which is a little off, I guess. Um, this scenario right here isn't 100% realistic, but it's a possibility. You can see storms, possibly some severe in east central Wisconsin and all across northern Wisconsin. But where you see those storms start to form here, so it's a little strange. This, like I said, this model has a very strange scenario playing out. This is just after 7 p.m. where you can see some pretty... Good convection going on around northern Wisconsin and into Minnesota. And you can see going into the late evening hours, those storms are similar to supercells that are moving into southern Wisconsin, while a line of storms form behind it, which is a little strange, but we'll go with it. And those three supercells end up dissipating as it enters southeastern Wisconsin into the overnight hours. But that line of storms that was forming behind that initial round hits just after midnight. This image you've seen here is just after midnight. And you can see it's pretty bad. There could be damaging winds over 70 miles per hour in this. Lots of lightning, lots of heavy rain, possibly a tornado or two. And in the middle of the night as well. That's what makes it the most dangerous. It's the middle of the night when this is happening, when people are sleeping. And into the early morning hours of Thursday, this is the NAM 3K model. This is around 7 p.m. Wednesday. And you can see a line of storms severe forming in the Minneapolis metro area in northwestern Wisconsin. This, I believe, is a slightly more realistic scenario. However, this model does have a little bit of a bias for moving south and being too widespread, so you have to keep that in mind. It probably won't play out like this. But you can see into the early evening hours, uh, just before midnight, you can see a broken line of storms in central southern Wisconsin moving through, again, with damaging winds potentially over 70 miles per hour and embedded tornadoes. And that pushes through northern Illinois into the overnight hours and southwestern Michigan as that starts breaking up as it moves towards Ohio Thursday morning. That's the Chester Weather Forecast for this upcoming potential severe weather outbreak slash duration. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.